What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make this 3D Chrome Atom text effect in Cinema 4D. If you guys are interested in this project file, it is completely for free, not including the Lightroom or materials on my Patreon. This tutorial requires no plugins and is super quick, so with all that being said, let's jump right into the tutorial. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to MoGraph and click Mo Text. From here, what you guys want to do is go ahead and click Object. And go ahead and change your text. So I'm going to do Adam in all caps, just like that. From here, I'm going to go to Align and then click Middle. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and change my font. I'm going to be using Cunia. I'll leave a link in the description on how you guys can get Cunia. From here, I'm going to go ahead and change my depth to 50 centimeters, just like that. From here, I want to go ahead and change my subdivision to 25. And then from here, go ahead and click Caps. Change the start and end to Fill Cap like this go ahead and change the steps to 10 and then go ahead and change the radius to 3 and then tab and then click 10 and then tab 3 again then from here go ahead and click type change this to quadrangles and if i click display and go to ground shading you guys can see what this does and if i click regular grid just like that it will change it to a grid and from here i'm going to go ahead and put the width to 4 you guys can do 3 if you guys want them smaller, or you guys can go ahead and do 5, you guys can go ahead and change this later, but this is just how dense the geometry is on the text. I'm going to go ahead and go with 4. Now from here, what you guys want to do is go ahead and duplicate the text, so go ahead and hit Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, and I'm actually going to go ahead and put a material on the text, just like this, click Cubic and Seamless. From here, I'm going to go ahead and hold down right here, click Add Array, and then go ahead and just drag the text into the Add Array. And if you go to display and put this back at ground shading, we can go ahead and see our effect. Now from here, we're just going to go ahead and click add array and then change the sphere radius to 1. And by doing that, it will automatically change the cylinder radius as well. Now from here, you can go ahead and hit control and then drag that in onto the add array, just like so. And that's basically it for the tutorial. As you guys see, I rendered this out and this is the final result. Now, if you guys want to, you guys can go ahead and drag another material onto the text and get some sort of dual colored uh, text effect going on. And if we go ahead and click the text, hold shift and click the atom array and click alt G, we can go ahead and group this and then go ahead and click the rotation tool and then rotate this just like so. If you guys hold shift, it'll rotate in increments at 10, Put that at like 20 degrees, just like that. Click this button and it'll go ahead and render out and this is our text. Now our red isn't that visible, so what you guys can do is go ahead and adjust the atom array, make that smaller, or you guys can go ahead and click the text in the atom array and then make this bigger. So if we do like five, for example, it should be a little bit more visible. So it's still not quite visible, but if we go ahead and go close, you guys can see that it is there. If I go ahead and render out like this, you guys can see it's there, it's just a little too hard to see. But yeah, this is a really clean text effect that I thought I'd show you guys. For the render settings, all you guys have to do is go ahead and click this gear icon. Now, if you guys want some Lightroom and materials, you guys can go ahead and get my Metal Pack V3. I'll leave that in my Discord, you guys can go ahead and join my Discord and go ahead and get that. But what you guys want to do is go ahead and click Output. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080. You guys can go ahead and render it bigger if you guys would like. Go ahead and click current frame. Then go ahead and click save. Make sure this is PNG and then click these three dots. And then you guys can go ahead and choose a location to save your render and name it to whatever you guys would like. And then once you guys are done, go ahead and click this button. Um, go ahead and go to the camera and then go ahead and click this button and it'll start to render. So that's basically it for this tutorial guys, if you guys like this tutorial on how to make this cool Adam Array text effect, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video guys, peace.